Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our video. In this video we will look at the inverter with cscript based PWM modulator demo model. This Plex demo model shows an ideal MOSFET inverter that is controlled by a simple PWM scheme where the logic is implemented as a state machine using the cscript block. The switching strategy creates a bipolar output voltage alternating between the positive and negative magnitude of the DC voltage and includes dead time to ensure that short circuits across the DC bus do not occur. Here you can see an example timing diagram of a single switching cycle that we are trying to achieve, including the blank in time states. The full bridge single phase inverter is modulated to create a 400 volt DC square wave from the source. The square wave is then filtered to represent a sinusoidal waveform of approximately 230 volts AC using an LCL filter. Double clicking on the PWM block reveals that it is a custom mask subsystem with mask parameters for the switching frequency, dead time, and a minimum on time requirement for each switch. If we look under the mask and click on the cscript block, we see that all three parameters are passed directly to the cscript block as input variables. The cscript block is a powerful component that allows for advanced interaction with the solver engine and timing. It's difficult to provide a quick overview of writing C code in Plex, but basically there are several settings as seen here, then in the code tab, a set of functions where you write the code. In the code declarations window, we have included header files, defined global variables, and a duty cycle calculation function. In addition to the code declarations or input function, there are other functions for continuous or discrete state variables, system outputs, and two additional sections for code to be executed at the start and termination of a simulation. In the output function, for example, there is a state machine implemented with start, low, and high states, as well as two blanking states. There are also built-in macros included with the cscript block, as indicated by the emboldened text such as current time and next sample hit. The best resource for setting up a cscript block its functions, macros, and examples is the Plex user manual. There are also tutorials available on the Plexum website. Now, the state machine concept is not only useful for pattern generation, but can easily be adapted to respond to external rather than internal events for applications such as control system sequencing. It's important to note that the Plex library also contains a state machine block which provides a graphical way of modeling a system's reactions to input signals. Please see the video for the buck converter with constant on-time control demo model for a quick look at the benefits that the state machine block provides. Finally, let's run a simulation to observe the inverter output voltage square waveform and its filtered version with a 50 Hz fundamental frequency and noticeable ripple. You can then experiment with the dead time ratio and monitor the load voltage to observe the dead time effects of distortion and attenuation on the output waveform. This concludes the video on the inverter with cscript based PWM modulator demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexum.com. Thanks for watching.